previously on Trial by Fire. Hard to say. Now we've done the Pepper X, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Let's blow some smoke. Hi, how you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. And if you watched our last episode, you kind of got a hint, unknowingly, from Michelle of what this video was going to be. So we are going to be trying a sauce from Blowing Smoke. This is called their Northern Lights, The Devil's in the Details. Ooh. It is only a one out of four on their hot sauce. So thank level. God the Devil's in the Details, but not the sauce. Yeah, might be a little chunky. Yeah. Well, you never know. So the devil's in the details, which is why all of our sauces are handcrafted using only the finest, most flavorful ingredients, resulting in a diverse lineup with bold, distinct flavors that are, are sure to simulate, sorry, Ooh. stimulate <laughs> the senses and leave your taste buds tingling. If it was simulating the senses, it's going to taste you back. <laughs> so this one says child's play. No. Uh, shake well before using. Um, ingredients on this one seem like an interesting batch here. Yeah. It looks like I'm kind of. I just go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, so, green apples, jalapeno peppers, Sounds good. green bell peppers, apple cider vinegar, onions, garlic. Snow white peppers. Oh, I wonder if this seven dwarfs are with her. They're in there too. Uh, lime juice, Canadian maple syrup, ginger, salt, cinnamon, cloves, and cardamom. There you go. No card of dad, just cardamom. <laughs> so this should be an interesting one to try. Should be. I wonder how it's sealed up. Usually with the seal. Oh, uh, yeah, usually. <laughs> Such a good joke. <laughs> Sometimes my jokes are a little corny. Sometimes. He's being very, very gentle there. Ooh. It's got a distinct smell to it. Was there a dill in there? No. But that's what I'm smelling. Yeah. And you said there, cardamom, but I... There's lime in that. Oh, so maybe it's the lime. It smells good. I do like these twist tops. They remind me of, um, I can't remember the other name of the company I have one here or not. Oh, yeah. Heartbeats. Yeah. Well, at least you know exactly how much you're getting. Instead of just the random oops. Or not. Oh, there you go. Such a precious little dot. It's like those little candy dots. <laughs> I still put too much on <laughs> You can control how much you put on. There's never too much. It's just you put a lot on. Well, you know. You, you really like to taste it. I'm Cheers. just going to taste it everywhere. <laughs> I like that. That is really good. So that must be the lime. <laughs> yeah, it's... Um... <laughs> that just looks a little wrong. <laughs> that is really good. Yeah, it's got a really strong, lime distinctive taste. flavor. The lime really stands out in it. But it's interesting. It's a very interesting um, one. Tacos. Oh, that'd be so good on tacos. But the, app, the green apples and stuff like that really... It's got a very fruity kind of sense in that. It's very fruity. It's really good. Um, it is very good. No heat whatsoever. Yeah, I mean it's it's, but it's it's, it's pretty much an every man's. But it's jalapeno. Sauce. Jalapeno aren't really. I don't even get the jalapeno flavor to be honest. You don't have to twist the top again. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I, I don't need it. I, I was gonna let you just sit there and go. <laughs> no, it's um yeah. I don't get any. I know it says hot sauce. But, but it is only their low. But then again, it is child's plate. Like that's their level. Yeah. Yeah. This you could have on anything. I think that's actually maybe the brand, like the name of the particular sauce. No, Northern Lights is the sauce, yeah. Yeah. No, that's just the heat level. 
Yeah. This is um this is good for anything. Yeah. I mean it's definitely got like the flavor palette is definitely more Mexican on this one. For some reason for me. I'm getting like um well, you, taco sauce. You can put, put this on tacos, burritos. Oh. Um Oh and, and nachos. Na- nachos, yeah. yeah. You just kinda do the nachos and yeah. It actually would probably be good like on a su- as a sub sauce too. Probably. Because it's just got a nice distinct taste to it. Yeah, you do that on like a nice pulled pork or something and it would brighten everything right yeah, up. Yeah, or even just as a normal everyday sandwich sauce. <laughs> yeah, know? it's it's good just stuff. Got like a well, depending on the sandwich. You like a, if you have a cold cut sandwich, you're not gonna put it on like tuna or peanut oh, butter. Oh no, I put that on tuna. I put that on tuna. It might be good. It's not, not one that came to mind when I said a sandwich, though. Because you're not going to put this on PB&J. <laughs> some people might. I've done some weird things in my life, but I would not be putting that on PB&J. I probably would put it on peanut butter, no. Um, or... A liverwurst sandwich. It would actually make it taste good, then. No. Liver is the worst. No, it's not. <laughs> it's good, though. Why, they call it liverwurst. Can you imagine doing a nice grilled cheese and then dipping that in that? I'll probably put it on the inside and cook it on it. Either way, it's good stuff. But yeah, you can dip it. You can dip it. But dip it and flip it. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what else you can like. Pretty much, pretty versatile for most things you can put this on. This is really good sauce. That is good. I can imagine even making kind of like um, Taco Bell used to have like the the fry supreme where mm-hmm. they'd have all the. Can you imagine doing like fries and putting the sauce all over your fries with sour oh, yeah. cream? Oh yeah, that would be not even just this on the sauce on the fries itself. Yeah, that's good. Um, fish would probably be good, mm-hmm. depending on the fish. Like, if you don't want like the beer battered f- fish. No, but a nice it. hunk of cooked salmon. Yeah, yeah. Because it bring out the natural flavorings and everything else. It's very light. And the sauce. And it's certainly not too sweet. It's got that no. nice pucker of the lime in it. But, where are they from again? I I know they're local, but I'm trying. I think I want to say Hamilton, but I'm trying to remember. If you can find where on there it's located. I know they are uh, gluten-free, non-GMO in that. Yeah, but it is good sauce. Blowing Smoke Hot Sauce is their Instagram, and blowingsmoke.ca is their website. But it doesn't say on here, but I do believe they are from Hamilton or maybe Kitchener. Could be. We've seen them at a, a couple of different events now. Yeah, we picked this one up at Goat Fest. Yeah. But it's very good. If you have a chance to pick it up and you want something for someone in your house that doesn't like the heat heat, this would be good. Yeah, so that's the Northern Lights from Blowing Smoke. Tastes good. And yeah. It's like licking the Aurora. And you can sit there and just... Well, you could. It's that kind of we sauce. We practically almost did with our spoons. <laughs> but that's the kind of sauce that is. It's not something that's going to no. throw you into pain or regret. No. But yeah. So again, Northern Lights from Blowing Smoke. Great sauce. Check out the links for if you're interested in buying it. And enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time on Who Knows What We'll Try. Because the devil is in the details. It is. And they had a bunch of other flavors too. Yeah, we'll they have, have a bunch of the different ones. Tastes good.